the big money tonight. Uh-oh, look at this straddle we got going on. 80? $80 so we got straddle. 5, 5, 10, 20, 40, 80. Quintuple? What is 5? Quintuple straddle? I don't know. You're a UT graduate, so yes. you shouldn't be asking the Arizona graduate after you just bash us to shreds. $80 straddle. Maybe you should take out your notebook and take a note on this hand, Ricky. 319 in the chat. Maybe. Coming up on overtime, we're at 11 o'clock Central Time. Don't forget to put your clock one hour forward if you live in the areas of the country that has daylight saving time, not savings time. I got scolded by one of our viewers. So much dead money out uh -oh. here. I wake up with the Gretzkys. You know, I'm a hockey fan. Trying to attack some dead money. Oh, my goodness. Here it comes. Skull Mike put some black chips out there. 310. Over. Sai is out. So it's back over to Mark now with Jack 7. Offsuit. Mark's going to defend here. So much dead money. Monster straddled the 80 bucks. Mark wants to tango with Mike as I take uh -oh. another peek here. So we're going to go heads up. Well, you got it in good so far. Pocket nines versus Jack seven offsuit. Eight, four, six, two diamonds. A straight draw now for Mark. Looking for a five. Or a jack. He's got seven outs. Skull Mike, what is he going to do here? What are you thinking, Mikey? I'm thinking I'm good here. Want to protect. It's a pretty wet board with two diamonds. Also straight draw possibilities. He didn't re-raise me pre, so it's still, you got to treat him kind of like a big blind scenario. He's got to, you know, a range like that. Possible, you know, sixes, eights, and fours could have connected with this as well if he just flats my bet there. Mark usually plays a little bit on the tighter side, so he's opening up his range Woo! here, defending, and he is not buying what I'm selling here, the 400. He quickly min clicks me oh my goodness. to 800. And he's looking pretty strong. Just trying to see how much I have back. Do a double check at my cards. I know what I have. I'm making my decision here now if I really want to continue with this hand moving forward. And what if, if what happens on the turn, how is that going to change my decision? You know, if an overcard comes, am I still confident in my nines, etc.? Just double checking my stack. At this point, do uh, you if, think you're If I good. make the call here, I'm pretty much committing my stack. Yeah. So, yeah, I'm just trying to decide what he might have if I might be good. I'm still beating quite a ton. I'm a little bit where maybe he flops some dirty two pair. Maybe he has like an ace eight type of hand. Maybe he's on the flush draw. So he could be doing this with a number of things to put pressure on me. But my hand right now is too strong to let go. So I make the call. Call from Mike. See. I'm in positions here so I still want to see what he does on the turn. 2,000 in the pot. And there's a seven. So now Mark has a pair of sevens. You now have an open ended straight draw. With the over pair to the board. Yeah. So he's got position on me. So he could have been re-raising me on the flop with a lot of draw heavy holdings. And now knowing that what he has here, I'm surprised he doesn't check behind picking up some a pair, but he's still going to tell a story of a very strong hand, which makes sense as well. So uh -oh. he fires out another bet. Looks like, what is it, 900? Now he bet, I'm saying 1,200, so 1,200 to call. Didn't look like 1,200, but. No, this it, it was, uh, I think it was 900 yeah, was the bet. looks like 900. And now if I, if I think I'm good here on the flop, I picked up a lot more equity on the turn open and it's still over paired to the board and my stack to pot ratio, you see what it is. I'm either folding or jamming and, and I pretty much made my decision on the flop. 
if a seven or some type of lower card like that comes, I gotta still I gotta go with it. I can't surrender. So I'm going to end up ripping it in, Ricky. Wow. Let's see. He does. He rips it all in, folks. Skull Mike putting his money where his mouth is. Top pair, open-ended straight draw against a pair of sevens. And now, Mark, didn't snap call. You got to like that. Yeah, it didn't snap me off. I was like, I, I thought he was on diamonds or something like that. Didn't snap me off. I was waiting for a full count. So now I feel a lot more confident. Holy and shit. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big bet. Yeah, I, I can't just flat that. I made my decision on the flop. And there were a lot of cards on the turn that I would not like. But, I, you know, it's it's crazy things happen. And, you know, quadruple straddle hands. He was the last one to defend. I like this play. Let's can't, see if it works look, out. You can't look like a nit under the lights at table 11. That's No nits allowed. Ooh. But, you know, I, I'm feeling very confident now that it not get snapped off. It's only like six or 700 more for him to call, and he's invested so much that he can't fold here. There's even You can't fold, especially if you have a pair. Folding's not in the cards. 5,200 already in there. With yeah. your bet, it's a huge pot. Maybe the biggest pot of the night. I want to say it's turning into the biggest. Well, close to it. We had that double up. I'm just sitting there thinking, wow, we really did have diamonds. So I was pretty confident with my read. I was willing to go with it, do or die. Even if I am beat here, I know I have... It's, it, I know I have a lot of outs. It, if yeah, he has two pair, he has a set. At least I'm drawing to you know a ten, or five. So I have I have backup in, if in case it's needed. I have the backup. So that felt good, and that's why I, I leaned on the, on the shove there. So he's going to end up making the call. Yeah, it is just. He's going to make just the call. about three hundred, three or four hundred to call. We don't have the exact graphics. I think yeah. we bet nine hundred. Mike ripped it for he calls. fifteen. He calls. So he calls. Yeah. And we end up running it twice. He wanted to run it three times. I said once or twice. He wants So we go twice. Two, right, two times. And let's see what happens here. Five outs for Mark, a jack or a seven. There's a five. So I have the higher straight to yep. the nine. I straight, locked the first one up. Straight for you, Mikey. And let's see what here. There's the nine. Scooper. So Scooper Duper, Mikey. Skull Mike, what are you coming here so sad for? <laughs> you just want a huge hand. Can't give it away, Rick. Skull Mike. If you like that hand, like and subscribe to the channel. We do this every Wednesday and Saturday, folks. Skull the big Mike game goes out through, there. In the blender, in the tank. Correct read. Got lucky there on the run out. I'm so glad that half of it goes to me because I... Let no. you go out there. I did promise you dinner at a restaurant of your choosing, well, though, Rick. I'm so take advantage of that. You can shoot me an email at the bottom of the screen, Rick. You you have my private number, but you can reach me via email. Let me know the restaurant and date and time that you would like, and we'll make it happen. Me and you, Rick. Very nice. Skull. Skull Mike did this one for his viewers. Yeah. All he does is rake chips his way. Chips by the Pound. Chips by the Pound, one of the all-time great names we've had on the Lodge live stream. Chips by We want to get him back. He's from Houston. He had a good night. He wanted, He should want to come back. What do you all think about that? 360 in the live chat. Yikes. Let us know how Skull Mike played that hand. Couldn't have played it any better as far as I'm concerned.